Hello there and welcome to geekyanimator.com and in this video we're gonna uh, learn the basic tools that are required for drawing in the 9 Studio Pro. So uh, this video is basically for the beginners. So I'm gonna show you how to draw shapes in the 9 Studio Pro. So the first tool that I'm gonna show you is the create shape tool. So on the left hand side go to the tools panel and select the create shape tool and when you click on that you can see that you have six options over here under the menu and these are the six shapes that you can draw and you have the rectangle and oval a triangle star arrow and e and the spiral so um, i'm gonna select the oval click on it and i'm gonna go to the right hand side now under the style panel where you can see that you have two colors the fill and the stroke color so the fill color is the color of the oval that I'm gonna draw so I can change it by simply clicking on this color and move around the variety of the colors over here and I'm gonna select the blue one press ok and I can even change the stroke color if I want so I'm gonna let it be black only click ok and I can even change the width of the stroke ok so just let it be 4 so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click and drag to create the oval of whatever shape I want whatever dimension and when I'm fine with it I'm gonna leave the mouse button so I have an oval created with the blue color and a black stroke with a width of 4 alright very well now if you later on wanna change the color of the oval all you have to do is simply go to the left hand side select the select shape tool alright I'm gonna select this shape by clicking inside the shape now this shape is selected as you can see that you have these checks around it some white checks so I'm gonna go to the right hand side under style panel click on the color and I may change the color if I want I may select purple click OK now you have the ball with a purple color or you can even select colors from these from the swatches already colors given over here and I can select red so click outside and here you are with the ball with the red color um, fine alright now what I'm gonna give you let you know about another tool and that is the translate point tool over here first of all press enter to deselect the points um, yeah one more thing anything that you draw in um, an IMC2 Pro is basically made up of two things one is the points and second is the edges connecting those two points so uh, let me zoom in a little bit by simply uh, selecting the zoom tool over here and clicking and drag to the right hand side and you can see that you can zoom in the screen now as you zoom in you can see that a part of the oval is hidden above and I cannot see it well all you have to do is simply right click and drag your mouse down so that you can see the O. Fine. Now I'm gonna select the translate point tool and now if you look closely that you that the oval consists of four points. The oval is made up of these four points and I can individually select these four points and drag it around and change the shape. For example, I can click on this point and move my mouse to change the shape of this oval and you can change it to whatever you want change it to whatever you feel like us this is animation and it's your world you may do whatever you want fine so if I have this shape and what one more thing that if you I want to select all the points you select a point you can see the point gets highlighted and changes its color to red well this is an indication that currently this point is highlighted right now now you can also click near that point what if you click for example if I click uh, around here when I click an I studio automatically selects a point which is near to the cursor where I clicked so if I right here click and drag then the Anime studio automatically selects that point and moves it around as my cursor moves alright now if I click inside the shape I can select the whole shape as you can see that all the four points are selected and now you can move the whole shape wherever you want alright and 
one more thing uh, if you click inside the shape you have the whole point selected all the points are selected you can scale the shape using the scale shape tool you can scale it down or enlarge it proportionally or even change the width or you may even change the height by clicking and drag it dragging it okay now you also have the rotate tool what this does as the name says click and drag to move your mouse and let your shape rotate along with it now the shape rotates along this red um, this red mark you can see this red check the plus sign this is the axis of rotation if you can see now you can click and drag your mouse to rotate it around that axis all right uh, all right so we had uh, drawn the shapes that were provided by NIM studio pro but let me show you how to make your own custom shapes so i'm going to select the add point tool under the tools panel and what i'm going to do i'm going to click and drag my mouse and as i do that you can see the two points have been created right now one is the point fixed at the place where i clicked and another point moving with my mouse as I'm dragging it. So, if I leave my mouse button, you can see that you have two points connected with an edge. Now, if I move my mouse near that point, the point gets highlighted in green color. And when I click on it and drag my mouse, I can see I have created another point connected to that point. I'm going to repeat the process and so on. I can create my own custom shape now if i bring my mouse cursor near a point you can see that the point turns green and if the, at this point if i press space then those two points are now attached to each other and now we have a closed path over here all right i can fill the path using the create shape tool and if i click on any of the edge of this path the whole path gets selected and I can select the color whatever I want let me select a light one yeah yellow and if I press space now the shape is filled with the yellow color fine now similarly you can again change the color of the shape by selecting the create the select shape tool I can click it, select the shape and you can even change the color later on if you want. You may select the stroke color also and you may even change the width of the uh, of the stroke, the outline of the shape. Click outside to deselect it. And similarly you can perform all the operations, the scale, the rotation and the translate point tool on this custom shape also. I can select the translate point tool and I can change the shape again to whatever I feel like very well uh, one more tool I want to show you is that uh, this curve tool and what you can do with that uh, if you bring it near a point and click and uh, click on a point and drag it you can actually uh, scale down the angle I mean you can narrow down the angles or you may widen up as you like to create a more defined shape you can I mean you can use it for I mean for spiky if you want to create hairs and you want to make the hair spiky you can use this tool make the hairs look more spiky and give it a more realistic feel of spiky hairs right and one more tool that I want to show you an interesting one is under the fill section uh, this tool around here for changing the width, um, the um, what, what I say, the stroke of the uh, of the edges. Uh, if I click on any point and drag my mouse, you can see that the I can I can change the stroke width around that point. See, if I decrease it, then I can see that how the width is uh, changing for the stroke as I move from one point to another. I can do the same for the other points. Let me even increase it according to my needs. This gives a more definition. Let's you add, it makes lets you add uh, more um, you know features to the shape that you are creating. All right.
Well, these were the basic, I mean, basic tools that you will be needing for drawing. You, oh yeah, one more thing, you may even delete any point if you want. You can select the delete point tool over here. Oh sorry, this is a delete edge. You select the translate point tool and you can simply click on any point and delete it. And when you delete that point, then the two points that were connected to that point automatically get attached to each other, forming a single edge. Okay and I can similarly add more points to a shape using the add point tool and when I bring my mouse near the edge the you can see this red color around the edge that means if I click over here I am actually creating a new point at that place so if I click I have added a point and without leaving the mouse button I can drag it to change the position of that point and leave my mouse button and here you are a new point has been added you can um, also you can also delete an edge if you want select this delete edge point tool and if you click on any of the edges you have actually deleted that edge and once that edge gets deleted you have actually uh, um, what do I say the whole shape gets uh, gets lost I mean it lo loses its shape color its stroke everything I mean this is no longer a shape now this is simply a set of points so I can again go to the add point tool bring my mouse near this point it turns green I'm gonna click on it and bring the other point near the this one and I'm gonna press space to join them and now using the create shape tool I'm gonna select any of the edge and when I do that I have my this set of points selected and I may choose any color I want for the shape I'm gonna press space and now I have the shape back and you can see that when you created the shape the stroke properties are intact with the points if you see here fine and just last thing that I would like to show you is if you press ctrl plus R you are rendering the file and you can see that what shapes you had drawn I have actually taken the form of an image and you can save this image by simply clicking on the save as button and you have these four options of what format you want to save you may select jpg, bmp, target or png whatever you want alright for now I'm gonna close this render window and if you see carefully I'm gonna zoom out a little bit to show you one thing select the zoom tool I'm gonna click and drag my mouse on the left hand side to zoom out and with the right click I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna drag my mouse upwards so that I can bring the screen in front in the middle of the uh, of the sheet so you can see that this if you see this blue rectangle this blue outline uh, around the shape this is basically the screen as I rendered the uh, I press Ctrl plus R to render. You you saw that the sh all the area lying under this blue rectangle has taken the form of an image. This is you can say considered is the stage of the um, of the uh, of this workspace that you have over here. So anything lying within this blue rectangle is shown in front of the camera. All right. So these were the basic tools that uh, you could use. And you, you may will be using for making or creating shapes so uh, go on ahead and experiment a bit create your own shapes create whatever you like create a face and create eyes or something like that change the colors change whatever shape you want this is your own world I mean you can create whatever you want and no one's gonna stop you so this is it for this time and I hope you uh, watch the other videos also so that you can get a bit more understanding Thanks, I hope you um, understood something. Thank you.